All right, this customer has got a circuit breaker for a cooktop and it's just constantly tripping. This is what a new breaker looks like. When you turn it off and turn it on, you shouldn't get that red window popping up. So we need to find out whether the circuit breaker has gone bad or there's something wrong with the circuit. First thing we wanna do with the panel, we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna cut around so we don't peel off so much of the paint. Now that we've scored around the edges, we've got six screws to remove. The panel should just lift off now. You can see inside of the panel here, we've got a red and a black that are connected to the circuit breaker. What we're gonna do is turn the circuit breaker off and then we can pop the breaker out and now we can check and see if it'll reset. You can see the breaker is not resetting. What we're gonna do is disconnect these wires. It's a little flathead screwdriver here. Carefully make sure that these don't go anywhere they're not supposed to. And now let's see if the breaker will reset by itself. It doesn't reset by itself. To me, that's an indication that the breaker is bad. So we're gonna turn the breaker off we're going to go ahead and pop it in. If you look on the inside here, there's there's a little bar that these are going to clip onto. Okay, with our new breaker in hand, we're going to insert our wires under each side. And there's a screw that'll go down and it'll just connect those wires right into the breaker. You want to get these pretty tight. With our wire installed, we want to line up the back of this breaker. What I'm going to use is a pair of pliers. This to help me pop in the first connection and then pop in the second connection, turn our breaker on, and now we'll go check the cooktop before we put the panel back in place. Did you replace the fuse? I did replace the fuse. I didn't even know you were in here. It's working. 